Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are watching the 2012 American supernatural horror action film called Abraham Lincoln, The Vampire Hunter. So this goes back to the year 1818. Abraham Lincoln lives in Indiana with his parents Nancy and Thomas who works at a plantation owned by Jack Bartz. The Lincoln befriends there, I mean, there Lincoln befriends an African American boy named William J William Johnson, and intervenes when he sees Johnson being beaten by a slaver. Because of his son's action, Thomas is fired. So, Lincoln. So this is many years later, Lincoln is all grown up. He successfully finds and defeats Bart's Bart's before dying. Bart's reveals that Sturgis is also a vampire. Lincoln confronts Sturgis who reveals that several years ago he was attacked and beaten by Adam. Not beaten, I said the beaten but because but he was beaten, I think that's on a night by Adam. Because Sturgis' soul was a vampire, he became a vampire and that prevented him from harming Adam or any other vampire. Lincoln then marries Mary Todd and begins his political career campaigning to abolish slavery. Confederate President Jefferson Davis convinces Adam to deploy his vampires in the front line. Lincoln orders the confiscation of all the silverware in the area and has it mounted to produce silver weapons. The now leaderless Confederate vampires stage a final massive assault and are met head on by the Union. Armed with their silver weapons, the Union soldiers destroy the vampires and eventually wins the war. Now nearly two years later on April 14, 1865, Sturgis tells Lincoln that the remaining vampires have fled the country. Sturgis tries to convince Lincoln to allow him to turn Lincoln into a vampire so that he can become immortal and continue to fight vampires, but Lincoln declines. In modern times, Sturgis approaches a man in a bar in Washington, D.C., just as he once did Abraham. Upon slapping his back, a gun falls to the floor. 